All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Tables and Tailgates. So today we're going to be doing something different. We are going to be cooking a thing called armadillo eggs. Armadillo eggs is not actual armadillo eggs. So you, you'll, you'll see the process. Basically what we do is we take stuffed jalapenos, wrap them in deer sausage, and indirect heat them or smoke them. I'm going to be doing the indirect heating method today. We're prepping the grill right now. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now for the indirect heating method, you're going to want to roughly preheat your grill to 325 degrees, roughly. You're only going to let them cook for 30 to 45 minutes. With the smoking method, you're going to want your smoker up to about 250 degrees and have it preheating, like I'm doing here. And you're going to cook it for about two hours. So, now I'm going to show you all the prep. Alright guys, so... First things first, you're going to want to wash your hands. So go on over here and wash them. Give me one minute. Now for this recipe, you're going to need one to two pounds of sausage. You're going to need five jalapeno peppers. You're going to need half brick of cream cheese and about a three-fourths cup of grated cheese. So let me get all that out. For me personally, I like to season my meats, so we're going to be using both smokehouse maple and brown sugar bourbon you're also going to need some salt and pepper now guys I went out and I bought jalapenos from a neighborhood market they're actually really nice fresh jalapenos now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the tops off of the peppers Just like that, and you're going to core it out. Now, I'm not going to film this whole process right here, because it does take a little bit, so hold on. Now make sure when you do this, you get the whole core out. You want to get the membrane and the seeds out of this. So there's one done, let me finish up. All right, so next, you're gonna wanna put a half brick of cream cheese into the bowl. Half brick. Let me move the bowl over here and figure out how to open this. You could take a spoon and get the rest of this out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second. Now it says a third cup of shredded cheese. Me, I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going off of handfuls. That's about three fourths of a cup. Maybe a little bit more. There. And now you mix it together, which is difficult. So hold on. Now I'm going to have Tasha finish mixing this up, and I'm going to start prepping the meat for us. This right here, guys, is the deer I killed not too long ago. Y'all seen the video of it. Um, we got some of it made with sausage, and this is what we're going to be using for our meat. Guys, I just want to show y'all how good the processor did with this. Look at that juice. Look at that. It's 
So next you're going to want to kind of ground up your meat. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just getting my hands on in there. Make sure your hands are clean. I did. I washed them on camera. Leave me alone. And you just kind of mix it all together. Pause it for me. Alright, so he wants to season with brown sugar bourbon and smokehouse maple as always. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have her pour it in so I can mix it up. Now don't be afraid to season your meat, guys. If it's not seasoned, it's not seasoned. If it is seasoned, you'll taste it. Perfect. And then you're just going to dig it on here. Now, you don't have to season your meat. I just prefer to. I feel like it'll taste better. And it does taste better. I got Tasha mixing up our jalapeno filling. Only because you can't do it. Right. I suck at it. Alright, so I'm about to put the filling, which is cream cheese and shredded cheese, inside his little messed up jalapenos. No jalapenos in one. So pretty much you're making jalapeno poppers, you're just putting the meat around it. Wrap it in sausage. Pretty much. And it's just called armadillo eggs. Because it looks like a giant armadillo egg. Yep. So this is pretty much what it should look like. Before you wrap it. Before you wrap it. So then what you do is you take your stuffed popper and you, hold on, let me get that shit out of the way. And you wrap it in meat. So we're just going to take a big old chunk of meat. Now you want to completely cover the jalapeno popper. You used half a brick, right? Huh? Half yeah. a brick, okay. So what I'm going to do is kind of make like a little patties. <clears throat> and I'm going to wrap them around it. Just like that. You want to make sure the entire jalapeno popper is completely covered in meat. The only thing you need sticking out possibly is so you can, because in the recipe it says you It'll could leave it. a Yeah. When they're done, usually the cheese melts through the meat or the internal temperature is... A certain degree. <clears throat> 160 degrees Fahrenheit inside of the meat. And there is your first armadillo egg, guys. Will you uh, pause it again? This is why I'm set up for indirect heat. This side does not have any heat on, this side does. So we're just going to grab them and put them on there. Let them sit for 30 to 45 minutes and we'll come back. Alright guys, so we're going to take a look. Oh yeah, they are done. Alright. Oh yeah.
That looks amazing. Go ahead and take a bite. I was gonna let you take a bite. Just try it. Is it good? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it now. Oh, that is awesome. Jalapenos get a good kick to it. Mm. What do you think? I'm not one for spicy, but it's good. I'm not going to be able to eat all of them. <laughs> but, alright guys, so now that was armadillo <coughs> legs. We're going to get Jacob's reaction trying a bite too. So, stay tuned for that. Go ahead. Good, huh? 